Today we're just going to be going over my predictions for the NA East Grand Finals and who I think is going to win and who I think might pop off that'll come out of nowhere. Stuff like that. So let's just get right into it. First off, I think you got to put Saf Stretch Kanata like close to the top. Them incented, I mean, they're top tier team. Uh, NAE Comp Report on Twitter put together the drop map for Grand Finals and they have like color coded and everything is so yellow is an uncontested POI, red is contested out of POI, purple is contested out of split, and blue is uh, uncon split. Shout out to them for that. As you can see, this map is really bad. I think there, there's one, two, three, four splits that are contested. And then I'm pretty sure Dukes is getting contested. I'm not 100% sure. There is literally no loot on this map. And it actually sucks because there's also one, two, three teams contested at POIs. Macwood, Illus, Tragics, and then P-God's trio is going to be uh, entertaining to watch. Uh, I think Pam Stu's trio will low-key win seven or eight games off spawn against Creo, Clicks, and Bucky. I don't know. I, I just think that Pam Stu's team is smarter at fighting. I'm not sure how corny is, to be honest, but I mean, I think you have to take D-Gen's trio here. Even though uh, Lazar is the greatest TikToker of all time, I think D-Gen's trio is just too good at fighting, and they know corny, I think, way better than this trio. They've been together way longer as well. So I think D-Gen's trio will do good, but I, I don't think any contested team will get anything better than, like, top 20 maybe like top 16 at best uh favorite to win favorite to sleeper team and favorite contested team plays well and uh you can see my response i said scented winnings lem sleeper team and then iamzo contested iamzo is contested by a d roller but i feel like they're just a better cami split team i think they're gonna win and if they can win like at least eight games off spawn i think they have a good chance of placing top eight overall because i mean they're gonna obviously they capitalize on those games probably full sand height and win them you know what i'm saying so i think yamzo's trio has a good chance of doing well if they can win off spawn fights uh zlem's trio has auto qual the last three grands they also have hydro split on con and uh pretty sure jerky queasy and uh not sure their third was on eu one last grands from cami uh, from hydro split so i wouldn't be surprised if they did good i'm definitely seeing a top five out of them not gonna lie another team that i think is gonna pop is uh knifer's trio knifer jays and donnie pretty like really really good especially recently they almost won two or three cash cups this season i know they won one for sure and got second and i think two but they're really solid this season Obviously, Gabe Tahi Sprite, Uncon Sweaty, they're going to do good. Saf Stretch Kanata, definitely a, a top three favorite to win. Uh, Tabs, Teo, and Pledge, I think they only played one week of FNCS, but I think they easily, easily can get top eight. Definitely top eight. I mean, maybe even top five. Who knows? I mean, Uncon Weeping, and that's a really good trio. I think they've literally placed in every single tournament so far this season. Paper, Qua, and Nico, Uncon Stealthy, that's definitely a trio that can win everything, to be honest. I, I think that Paper is honestly due to have like a really good Grands placement. I don't think he's placed well in Grands since OF and CS, if I think about it. But I think he can definitely pull off a top five as well. I, I'd say my uh, overall top five would probably be uh, Gabe Tai Sprite, uh, Dubs Mega Rokane, then I'd probably go Game Air Reverse, Saf stretch cannot a second and then scented winning i think sentence just got second too many times and they're too consistent and uh i think the reason sentence is going to win this grants and i think he's going to win it by a good 50 60 points because uh this season height is just a full grief fest uh everybody just pads on height and it really helps in the end game situations where it's literally dead last zone sentence teams on complete low wiping everybody and the height team is just getting griefed by everybody like, majority of the time, the last, uh, like, if Sentence whole trio is alive on low ground, the team on height isn't going to be a full trio most of the time because they're going to get griefed, especially in grants because people are just going to, like, full send for the win. And I think Sentence team is going to win by 40, 50 points. Their, uh, their second place curse is probably over, not going to lie. Obviously, Dave Mirror Reverse are going to be a team that can put up a fight for sure. I think uh, Kaz's trio is also going to do pretty well this Grands. I think they got uh, either 6th or 8th in the last Grands. I'm not sure which, but Kaz has made every single Grand Final, and I think that was his best placement last season. I think he is just due to have a pop-off top 3 F and CS, you know what I'm saying? And the way they play, it kind of favors the, the meta as well. I think Saf, Stretch, and Kanata are the best height team out of everybody, but at the same time, like anybody can grief height at any time. So, I mean, I want to think that they're gonna get top three but at the same time they can easily just get griefed every game or die trying to fight for height like anything can happen when you're a height team especially in launchpad meta so i don't really know how well they'll do but i think if they like just don't get griefed I, that's an easy top three placement for them in my opinion slurpee i think has 10 chest spawns so i don't think jack acorn and slack is going to do that good they are obviously one of the best teams in the game and they have an uncon poi so I, I think they can get at least top 10 even with the terrible loot they're working with a team that definitely might come out of nowhere and place well not even come out of nowhere but dukes justice and users have placed in everything this season i mean that's a crazy trio pretty sure in heats they won three out of six games and they have the second most points out of any and they were frying the whole time i think that's definitely a trio who can pop 
for sure. But if I had to give my overall, we'll do top eight for grands, I'd say Pledges Trio eighth, Mega Dubs Rokane seventh, then I'd go Paper Qua Nico sixth, Aspect Kaz Who Fishy fifth, then I'd go Dukes Trio fourth, Day Reverse Marrow third, Saf Stretch Kanata second, and Scented Commandment Edgy in first. I think Scented Commandment Edgy pick up the win here. And also I got Zlem's Trio top 10 random just a, a random uh random thought to put in last season i did go 0 for 3 on reboot round picks and 2 for 18 on people who would make grants for heats so uh you know take my predictions with a grain of salt this is just what i think about uh this grants this season but uh anyways be sure to sub like the video if you enjoy and, and uh i'm out